My name is Angel Reed and I am hosting a single mother's event, kind of like a single mom's club, and I would like to tell you more about it. Um, although I'm not a mom at all myself, I absolutely love single mothers. I appreciate them like no other. I was raised by a single mom. I admire how hard they work. I just, let me read the speech I'm gonna give the moms um, on the, at the event. I'm Angel and I want to get single moms together to support relate, but to support and relate with one another because I love single mothers. I love their strength, their worth ethic, and enormous amounts of love. I notice that there are lots of fatherhood classes and groups in the area that are built to encourage men to be more involved with their children. However, when I looked for support groups for single mothers, I could not find even one in the area. So if the half that is currently inactive needs support, it should be clear that the other half that's picking up the slack, doing double the work, should need emotional support even more, right? Um, I also believe that single moms are literally the heroes of this country. Single moms don't think, well, I can't do this alone and leave their children's life like their dads did um, via foster care. Uh, half the U.S. homeless population were foster children, along with many other negative foster statistics, such as violence, mental health issues, and more. Instead, single moms are the ones who are willing to pick up another person's slack to prevent those st statistics from happening to the 24 million children who are being raised by a single parent and thus saving the country. This is one way to send my appreciation and thanks to those heroes. I have loved ones who are single moms and they vent to me. Um, I have loved ones, uh, friends and family who are single moms and they come and they vent to me. And when they do, I think to myself like, this is not the first time I've heard this. I've heard this before. Like I should get these moms all together so that way they can see that they're not alone and they can bond and heal and, um, Although venting to me can help um, and it probably relieves some stress, I'm guessing that's why they do it. <laughs> but if venting to me helps, then venting to somebody who directly understands and had directly been through what you've been through, the exact same situations would be even far more helpful. So that's why I'm doing this event. And, um, Lastly, I'm doing this because God pushed me to. Um, doing this event has been on my heart for a long time, um, but it's, it was more like, um, I think they should do it. I think single moms should get together and it would be a good idea for them to go ahead and do it. But um, one day, I wasn't planning on doing anything. Like I just said, I went to my computer and I don't know what came over me, I just started buying stuff for this event. And when I stepped away from my computer and I was done and I just kind of snapped out of it, I was like, did I really just buy all this stuff for this event? Like what possessed me to just do that? I don't know, but I guess I'm doing it now. So um, yeah, God definitely was a um, part. Well, not a part. He was the main reason I'm doing this. And so yeah, that's pretty much what I wrote. <laughs> Um, and there's other stuff on there, but we'll get to that later. So here's what I've been doing for the moms. I have a friend who is a physical, not a physical, she's a therapist, um, and a counselor. And so I asked her like, Hey, I'm doing this event. It's for single moms. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know God told me to do it. So I need some questions to ask. Um, and so she gave me some like basic questions to ask, but, um, they were kind of, therapy-ish they were kind of like tell me what you're going through but I don't want them to talk to me I want them to commune with each other and something about therapy is just kind of like they go through step by step by step like they start off little and then you come back to your next session and they'll just keep digging deep, deeper and deeper every session this is a one-day event so we got to get to the nitties and gritties now so although I use some of her questions I also went online and just bought a whole this is not, <laughs> I bought a whole bunch of single mother books and I just studied my butt off to just come up with some good questions like the perfect questions to ask 
and I came up with them and that's what that's what else is on the sheet this is my perfect questions to ask during the event that would get the moms just mingling with each other and opening up to each other and bonding and all that good stuff and since I won't be needing these after the event I'm also just going to give these away to the moms whoever wants it okay let's talk about the fun stuff here's what's going on at my event um I'm making a big spa day out of it so I told all the moms I sent them invitations that look like this okay so here's what we're doing i had to start all over because i went all over the place but here's what i'm doing for the mother's day event it's going to be like a spa day i told the moms to dress comfortably i know i dressed in like this but i'm not being shady i'm not being that friend that tells you to just dress comfortable and then i come dressed to to the nines and i'm dressed in floral because floral is mother's day and they're dressed comfortably because i'm making a spa day out of it and I got these little rose petals that I'm going to sprinkle all over the ground because, I don't know, floral just says Mother's Day to me. But I'm making a spa day out of it, and I got them these foot tubs. I ordered a bunch of foot tubs so they can, I'm going to put hot water in there and they can soak their feet. And I also got a whole bunch of foot soap. I got a whole bunch of it over here, just a bunch of foot soap so they can put that into their foot tubs and soak their feet and when they're done they can uh i got a bunch of these uh which is like spa kit things they got little files on there scrub brushes all that and i got a bunch of those in different colors for the moms and so they're gonna soak their feet and then they're gonna scrub their feet and i got a bunch of towels so you know they can dry their feet when they're done and then when they were done with that i got them some like spa feet lotions and some more foot care stuff for the spa day and when they're done with that i got like 27 different colors of nail polish so they can do their nails at the spa day either um there's gonna be a whole bunch of foot care and it's fun <laughs> and i got more foot care stuff for the spa day is that upside down it is there it is and look i also ordered Oh, and more <laughs> foot care stuff for the spa day. This is just nail files. I got them. And this is all free for them, by the way. They're not paying a dime. This is this is single mom's day. They freaking deserve it. They deserve way more. Okay. But anyways, I also ordered these specialized Happy Mother's Day um, sets. We got cups in there, napkins, big plates, small plates. And I got a lot of food coming. I got fried chicken pizza pasta um all kind of desserts donuts cookies brownies um chips pops all they're gonna eat good <laughs> and i have these wonderful balloons that say happy mother's day on them and then some are clear and they got confetti inside i got these just happy mother's day balloons i'm gonna put all over the place and i got these gift bags, they're all getting gift bags. What does that say on there? Mothers are a reflection of God's love. And these gift bags are going to be thebomb.com. Um, when I told you earlier about my therapist friend who gave me some questions, um, one of the things she suggested, she said, uh, you should look into like single moms groups um, in your area and then ask for flyers so that way if they want to continue with the therapy they have an option for that and that's when I told you I looked and there was any but what I did find was like international um mother's day mother's day mother single mothers groups that like um from all over the nation and then they would like meet up on a zoom call or something like that and let me tell you I found a really really good one speaking that this has something to do with the gift bags. I'm getting there. I have to give these guys a special, special, special thank you because all I asked them for was flyers. I'm like, I'm hosting a single mom's event. Can you send, please send me some flyers so I can put it in their gift bags. They sent me these books. And I told them how many uh, moms I had and they sent me enough for each mom. And they gave me a whole box of these books for free these books are about i think about 12 dollars each and let me tell you i'm not exaggerating just because they sent me these out of all the single mom books that i ordered online these this is the best one 
I'm not kidding you. Get this book. This is as someone who actually spent their money. You don't have to spend your money. I'm telling you which one is the best. This is the best book for single moms. And it's not just a book to read because like I said, this is a, um, they're like an organization of single moms. So you're not just going to read the book. Well, you can just read the book, but you can also, you can read the book and join a whole bunch of single moms nationwide. This is, this is the best. And I just have to send them a very special thank you because they did not have to do this. All I asked for was some free flyers and they sent me these, this book is amazing. I'm not just saying this because they sent it for free. i Get this book and tell me I'm lying. I am not lying. I ordered all these books. This is the best one. This was the most helpful for when I was coming up with my questions. Special, special thank you. The title of the book is Kids and the Single Mom, A Real World Guide to Effective Parenting. And if you want to learn more about the organization and all the many, many things they offer, simply log on to thelifeofasinglemom.com. What else is going in the gift bag is um, I got them candy roses. A bunch of those I'm going to be putting in the gift bags. Um, I figured, like I said, Mother's Day to me is like flowers and floral. And that's why I'm sprinkling the flowers over the ground and stuff. So I said they should get flowers. But the flowers are just going to die. So they should probably get chocolate roses. So that way they can eat the flowers, get double the whammy. I thought that would be a good idea. And here's some more stuff that I got. Um, I got these. This is all for the gift bags, by the way. I got them these keychains. Well, it basically just says she believes she could, and so she did. And but not keychains. They're like necklaces or something. But I got a bunch of those to put in. Um. Well, I think they're. You can make them keychains. Let's open it and see. Yeah, yeah, they're like, oh, they're necklaces. Okay, let's wait. It said keychain on the website, but it looks like necklaces. No, they're necklaces. It said keychain on the website, but that's what those are looking like. And um, they had some that said best mom ever, but even my mom agreed. I was like, should I get this one or the one that says best mom ever? She said best mom ever is kind of generic. Get this one. This one means something. And so I got that one. Um, what else is going in the gift bag is, ooh, these are good. They're these lipstick glosses things. They are these clear lip balms and each one has gold flakes and a different color flower inside. Now, although they're clear, when you put it on, it actually leaves like a pink tint. Not a, a pink color like a lipstick that's really bold, but it's actually like a really natural looking pink tint. They're so cool and pretty. Highly recommended. This is going in the gift bags is, um, like I said, I reached out to a bunch of like single mom organizations asking for flyers. And the company, the organization that sent me the books are the only ones that reached back out to me. But I, I'm not a bitter Betty. I was still going to promote some other ones. So even though they didn't send me any flyers, I made my own flyers. And so this is a website that I thought was really, really good. And so I kind of made my own flyers for them. And I'll be putting these in the gift bags because it has a bunch of stuff to help single moms. Um, every month, this website gives out $500 cash to a single moms, no to a single mom, no strings attached. And they have a bunch of like links and stuff that to help single moms for like Free car care, free formula, um, free smartphones, best jobs for moms, best jobs mom can do from home, free Wi-Fi. Just like a bunch of like program links on their website for like um, single moms, free food, um, low income housing loans, uh, free school supplies, a bunch of stuff. So this is like a really good website. Even though they didn't reach back out to me, I'm like, I'm still going to promote you because it's not about you, it's about the moms. So I made out flyers to help them promote their website and I'll be putting that in the gift bags as well i'll also be putting a bunch of candy in the gift bags so yeah our mothers are just going to be sitting in a circle soaking their feet relaxing unwinding um getting their spa day on we're going to be asking some really deep um healing questions and everybody's just going to be bonding over 
all the questions on motherhood and they're going to be relating to each other. They're going to be stuffing their faces with some good food. They're going to have some laughs. They're going to have some tears. I'm going to have some nice music in the background and they're going to leave with some amazing gift bags and it's just going to be a wonderful day. So happy Mother's Day. Mwah! And let's go to the actual event and see how everything looks all set up. Woo! See you in a sec. And one last thing, before the moms leave the event, we're going to end things off with a five-minute meditation that's made just for single moms, and you can listen to it for yourself as well right here. 